When something bad happens in your organization, instead of asking, how did the worker screw up? You've got to ask this question. How did we put a worker into a position where the outcome that happened is possible? Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Investigation Safety Moment. I'm your host, Todd Conklin, and that starting thought is the introduction into a phenomenon we call local rationale. Let me say it again, local rationale. What made sense at the time the event happened to the workers who had the event? Decker calls it getting in the tunnel with the worker. I almost said getting in the channel with the worker, which I guess would be the same kind of, but I was actually thinking of the word culvert. But nonetheless, getting in the tunnel with the worker, all of this is about expanding our understanding of the event so that we seriously look at and understand not why the event happened or who the event happened to. Those are usually never very mysterious, but the much richer how, how the event took place. And that causes us to focus on a phenomena that's called local rationale. Now, I need for you as professionals, as safety professionals or leaders or managers or or whatever you do in your organization, to be very comfortable in asking this question. What was the local rationale for that condition? What was the local rationale for that outcome? Help understand what the worker was thinking, when the worker was thinking, in order to better understand Not what happened, although the explanation is very, very complete and much better, but more importantly, what to do about what happened. You see, we're not very good at managing accidents because accidents, by definition, are accidents, right? They're unintentional deviations from an expected outcome. But we're actually pretty stinking good at managing the conditions that make up the characteristics that cause failure. Does that make sense? Kind of. I suppose it does. If you're listening carefully or if you've listened before, you know what I mean. Let's take that one step further and say the best way we can understand what conditions had to be present for the failure to be successful is by understanding what happened, how the event transpired. And once we understand how it happened, then we can start asking, what was the worker thinking? What was going on in the mind of the worker? What was the worker's mindset? And all of us gets, all of that gets us to local rationale. It's an easy thing to say, but it's a mighty powerful tool for safety professionals. In fact, this changes the way managers, leaders, people who write corrective actions, planners, right, engineers, this changes the way they see the world. It's very powerful, but it's kind of got to be used for good, right? I mean, we have to be able to step up to the plate and say, the event took place, Clearly, everything that needed to be present for the event to happen was there. And because everything's there, what was it the workers were thinking? What was the local rationale at the time the event happened that caused the workers to believe that the actions they were taking would not lead them into the consequences that they eventually found? We're really asking you to look forward into the context of an event in order to understand what's happening. Local rationale. Oh, yeah. That's the words for today, and in fact, they're words that you ought to probably live by as practitioners of the new view, the new family of how we understand systems reliability. That is the safety moment for the day, so thanks for listening. It's always good to have you. Learn something new every day. Have a lot of fun, and for goodness sakes, be safe. (laughs)